Greetings, boys and girls, from the Alberta Pepper Lab. Today, we're going to be doing an update. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to produce as many videos as I could. Uh, life just got in the way, and yeah, too many things going on. Hopefully, uh, things should come down within the next few weeks. Hopefully, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so here's to a new update. Cheers. Let's get her started. So here's the little flower bed that we have beside the uh, kitchen door. Newest addition is the spearmint that I have down in there. It's um, it's pretty new. Just got transplanted today. I have some volunteer peas in here. Check that out. <laughs> Feisty little gaffers just popping up out of the dirt. There's another one there. And so we'll have to we'll have to stake them up. See if we can get some peas off of them. Here is my uh, my pepper bed. Now you'll notice all this green stuff that's in here. That's uh, that's grass that I just mowed. I just mowed the lawn, and uh, that's all grass. And I'm trying to uh, trying to give this soil some better organic matter. Um, I do know that grass will take away nitrogen from the soil as it decomposes. I'm going to fight that aggressively with um, with just additional fertilizer for the plants, and hopefully that should uh, that should pan out for me. This soil is horrible. Uh, it was a bunch of topsoil that I got to fill in the flower beds, and I should have uh, should have spent a little bit more money to get better quality soil. Um, as you can see, got a lot of yellowish plants. Those are um, what are those lemon lemon habaneros? Um, yeah, I just looked at my plants today and figured I had better get something in there for them. Got my two happier jalapenos up there. And over here, I have a Peter Pepper right there. There is my Peter Pepper. It has some characteristics, but, uh, yeah, I just, I saw what these things look like and I just absolutely had to buy one. Uh, buy some seeds for it anyway. I think I still have more seeds. Uh, most of these are not doing well. Uh, these are all the guys that were um, in the solo cups not doing well, although there are some that are doing well. Like this, Grandpa's Siberian Home Pepper. Uh, I mean, it's not massive, but it is producing little pods, so that's good. Over here, if you look in there, see that guy? That is uh, my F2 Super Chili. Um, I do believe the, uh, uh, the grown out version of it is, uh, what, what's it called? Matchsticks or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, just making my own version of that, I guess. Over there with the red pepper, that is a dragon cayenne. And, uh, it produced one pepper, which has turned red. So, um, maybe we'll do a review on that quite swiftly. This also is a dragon cayenne, but... Like I was saying, these guys were in solo cups for so long, they uh, they were all stunted and um, are not doing very well, unfortunately. Um, got a little basil here. Moving along to what, what some of people have been finding pretty interesting is these, um, these bales that I've got going on. I do believe that is a Tibetan Lhasa pepper. Uh, I've got basil, basil, basil tomato which is doing a lot better than last time. Uh, seems seems to be doing a lot better. He's not nearly as yellow as before. Over in here, a little bit harder to see, is my red Reuben basil, and then regular basil, and then red Reuben basil, regular red Reuben, regular, etc. This is the, the, the basil bale. Over here, I did, uh, I did, go and get some herbs. Um, I do believe that this nifty looking fellow right here is actually curry. Uh, this is an oregano. This is a thyme. Uh, what was this? This was a weird one. It was like some kind of lettuce -y kind of thing. Yeah, argula. Yeah, and uh, apparently you can eat that thing like lettuce, so that'll be interesting. And over there is my dill. I have nothing growing in there as that spot does not get much sun. Looking back out, we have more peppers here. This one is a ghost. Let's see if I can get some better video. 
or uh, sorry, that is my habanero. That is not a ghost. This is one of my cayennes. We've got a bunch of cayennes in the front yard, but this is just growing pretty gnarly and cool. I really like that. Right beside him is my ghost. Trying to keep that sun out of the camera. This is my ghost pepper. Still has yet to produce pods. It did produce a couple few small pods, but those seem to have disappeared on me, so not too sure about that. And I have a tomato there. And my trademark pepper in a watering can. Uh, I do believe that this one is uh, Tibetan Lhasa pepper as well. Over here, this sad sorry fellow only looks sad because he can't stand up properly. I need to stick him up. Um, but he is producing He's producing peppers and stuff like that. That is also a Tibetan Lhasa pepper. And over here, oh, that sun. I'm sorry, guys. Over here, against the fence, is Butch Zilla, who has shrunk. We had um, we had some pretty bad windstorms, and he took it pretty hard. You can see some of the damages right there, and and really, it's all over the plant. Um, I would say he used to be about a foot taller, and uh, yeah, a little, little bit worried about him. He's still not producing pods. He has flowered, but those flowers had thrips, and they did not survive. <sighs> I got over here some hanging flowers that my dear mother bought for me. Uh, some more flowers that I have yet to transplant. Uh, this is apparently a coffee, but I don't know about that. My bonsai cayenne still has his pods on him. And over here, the, uh, um, this is, um, a hybrid or a hydro project that I was working on and it, it just, it's, it's alive. I've managed to keep it alive. The roots are doing okay, you know, but it's just so small. I was expecting him to grow much bigger. He was planted around the same time as, uh, this guy here or, uh, the, the ones, those two over there. So... Yeah, don't really know what to say about that. Got some more flowers in here. Moving along to the greenhouse, we can see that someone is sleeping on the chair. Yes, you get your cameo, Mongo. Okay, so I've got tomatoes. Uh, these are, um, I do believe, Arduina and uh, Golden Nuggets that my dear sister gave to me. This is my Hydro Project Tomato not doing good. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the nutrients or maybe the fact that I haven't uh, covered the water so that it's developing algae. I'll have to uh, rinse that out and uh, try to put in some nutrients and see what happens. I went out and got some cucumbers today. These guys are probably horribly root bound. But... Yeah, it is what it is. We're gonna get some. The ones that I planted in the dirt did not survive. And over here, this is probably um, probably my favorite bed right now. I've got uh, some cauliflower right there. I've got um, zucchini. These are other cauliflowers. I've got beans going on in there. Another cauliflower. This is um, this is pumpkins different kinds of pumpkins. These are my magic beans. They uh, they grow purple and turn green when you cook them. Over there in the halo, that is an Arduina tomato. These are awesome tomatoes. You guys will love them. Okay, moving along. Once again, you guys notice the theme. I have, t I have um, beans growing all the way around this. I'm really hoping that the beans don't choke out the light because they'll grow all the way up to the top of this thing. So... Yeah, uh, down here I have some kale, um, some ornamental kale, uh, still edible. So that's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Back here we have another zucchini, another zucchini, another zucchini, another zucchini, and a couple pepper plants. Uh, what are these? Do you believe this is a cayenne? Yeah, this is a cayenne. He's got little, well, hard for you to see, but cayenne pods in there. And uh, this is, looks like another cayenne, cayenne pods again. I went crazy with the cayennes this year. This is my, this, <laughs> guys, if you don't watch Charles P's um, uh, updates, you have to watch that and take a look at the guy's Dorset Naga. It is absolutely beautiful. 
Mine, on the other hand, has gone half retarded. Uh, this is Efren, the retarded uh, Dorset Naga. It had a hard time. I, ha I have uh, I have put this thing through its measures, so it's not very surprising that it's not doing well. However, that is my contest, Dorset Naga. <laughs> Okay, moving along, we've got my tomato, which actually is producing the first tomato of the season. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Yeah, there it is. There's the first tomato of the season. This is a this is called a quarter century tomato. Apparently, is a it is a dwarf tomato, but that is kind of a kind of a bigger plant. Anyways, over here, uh, this is a fatali. This one here is. Um, uh, I do believe Scotch brains. I have my white devil's tongue or my Balgwai, uh pepper. Over there is a BTR. Um, I have some dying aloes. I took all of the plants out of the house, so unfortunately that aloe has been brought out here to die. Up there I have Swiss chard. I have lettuce, lettuce. Uh, I've got beans. I've got um, another one of those ornamental kales and these ones. I absolutely forgot what I was planting down here, so I don't know what they are. They're going to be a pleasant little surprise. All right. Moving along to the mother-in-law's ornamental bed, surrounded by peppers. Oh, and my uh, my and my herbs. I've got parsley, sage, um, apple mint, which, by the way, guys, apple mint is absolutely awesome. Look how big those leaves are. Just perfect. I'm going to try to grow that variety over and over and over again. She has a mixture of flowers in here and I don't know what most of them are called. But I do know that I have, um, I've got a, my red contest MOA right over there. Uh, I do believe those two are uh, chocolate bootlas. That right there, actually let's get closer so you can see the peppers on it. This is, um, this is St. Thomas Bain was given to me by Chad the Walrus, and I do believe that JT Bear created the strain. And this one is starting to turn red. I get to do my first review on it. Very interesting, very small peppers. I normally don't go for the small ones, but this one just seems so intriguing, I had to grow it. Over here we have, what are you even? Oh, you're another bootla. Okay. Uh, I have my contest scotch brains this one is much bigger than the other ones it needs to be transplanted again i believe um got some yellowing leaves and we're gonna have to figure that one out over here this is a mystery pepper with some ripe peppers i am going to be eating these soon doing a review on them this is another chocolate bootla none of my chocolate bootlas have produced anything uh, this is basket of fire one of my favorite types of peppers unfortunately this year the pods aren't very big in comparison to what I was getting last year. I'm probably going to save seeds from the biggest pod I can find on the plant and start. This is my F2. I'm going to be starting F3 next year, and hopefully I can uh, I can breed out this strain so that it turns into something pretty cool. Over here is my cross. Uh, it's a cross between uh, Jamaican hot chocolate and super chili, and like the pods on it are super cool. Like they they start green. They turn like all black, and then they uh, and then they ripen to like a darker red with black splotches. It's super duper cool, <sighs> and the plant itself is pretty big. Okay, over here, this strange fellow is a mystery pepper. No idea what it is. Has not produced pods. I got another mystery pepper right here, and this I do believe is another cayenne with lots of cayennes on it. Okay, what else do we have? Ah, the other garden that we recently built. Okay, just run through it really quick. I've got chives, I've got onions, I've got, um, I don't know what that is. Um, somebody else planted that. <laughs> uh, this is a potato bush. Um, you guys just keep in mind how big that tomato or potato bush is, and I'm going to I'm going to teach you about soil qualities. Um, right here I have garlic chives. Uh, I have some dill. Uh, I've got my peas all staked up. They're ready to climb and rock and roll. Already flowering out, as you can see. I have um, mystery 
pepper that turned out to be jalapeno. This is ghost. This is a white ghost. Uh, this is a Kangstar white tie. Um, I do believe this one here is an orange bootla. A couple lettuce just knocked in there. Uh, behind them are more dill. Uh, I do believe that is a orange bootla. Uh, another orange bootla. Uh, this one is a... Ch Sorry, those aren't orange bootlas. Those are orange boots. Not bootla, just boot. Uh, this is a chocolate bootla. Uh, I'm not too sure what this one is. And that is a mystery pepper, which turned out to be a jalapeno. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, let's show you guys the difference good soil makes for any plant. This bad boy right here is my potato plant. Planted at the same time as that other one, which has grown about this big now. And as you can see, this is much, much better and bigger. Okay, I have strawberries and raspberries over here. Nothing was growing really well, so I figured I would uh, amend the soil in the same fashion that I did over there. And uh, hopefully they'll, they'll come around. I've gotten a couple strawberries this year. They tasted delicious. And that's about it. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you guys for the outro. Well, that about does it. Um, I did want to start doing something interesting. Um, I had the idea of um, teaching a Chinese word during every video at the end of the video. And um, today's word is La Ziao. I'm going to write the words on the screen. Uh, La Ziao. And what that means is pepper. Um, it can also mean spicy, but it means pepper in Mandarin. So that's a, that's a new thing. I'm going to start up pretty soon here, I figure. Um, also, going to be taking a trip to uh, China, uh, probably going out this winter, which is going to be pretty cool. It's going to be super cool, and I'm going to be sure to film a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. I'm super excited to see what the hottest thing they have for me to eat down there is. It'll be pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.